Hello and welcome back to another Yellow Case tutorial. I got an email from a client in Miami and she mentioned that she got a little warning on her Mac OS X laptop that said her startup volume was full. Actually it says startup disk. And she didn't know what to do with that. So I'm going to explain it here. It's pretty simple. The startup disk on your computer for most of you will be the only hard drive you have. So a laptop has one hard drive. Most desktops have one hard drive. And on that hard drive you have an operating system. That operating system is what allows most of your software to run on your computer. Now, when you boot up your computer, when you start it up, it starts up from that drive, from that operating system. Hence, that is your startup drive. So in the case of my computer, I have my main hard drive here, and it's called Perfect RAID. Now, for most of you, if you're on a Mac, that hard drive is probably called Macintosh HD. HD stands for hard drive. And that is a default name that comes with your Mac for your startup hard drive. In my case, I just renamed it, and you can rename yours. pretty simple. You can call it anything you want. It will make no difference to the machine. Now, when that hard drive gets so full that you can no longer save things to it, uh, you won't be able to update your software, you won't be able, in fact, your computer will run very slowly. So you want to make sure you have a lot of free space on that. How much free space? Well, it just depends what you're doing. But for the most part, I would recommend having at least 10 gigs of free space on your hard drive. Now, when your hard drive gets full, what you want to do is you want to move files to an external hard drive or delete files you no longer need. Now, in my case, in my trash, if I click on it, you'll notice there are a few files there. I no longer need these files, and let's pretend for a second that I have hundreds of files in here. They might not have been deleted, they might have been taken to the trash, but they still remain on my hard drive. So all I need to do is either click and hold on my trash can and select empty trash, or go to the very top of my screen, make sure Finder shows up here. If it doesn't, just click on your desktop once and it will and select empty trash. If you're having a hard time getting this to say finder, click on your finder in the dock. It's the leftmost icon. There you go. So that's it. That's all your startup disk is and just remember to always delete files uh, after a while when you don't need them uh, to clear up and free up some space on your hard drive. All right. Well there you go. That's how to eliminate that startup disk full warning.